Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to meditate on the work of mercy, giving drink to the thirsty. Imagine going one day without clean water. Think about how that would affect not only your drinking, but also how you clean yourself, use the bathroom, and prepare food. Water is the source of life and yet 790 million people go without access to safe, clean drinking water. It's for these people that we'll pray today. Let's begin. Take a few deep breaths. Find a place of quiet and stillness in your heart and your mind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In chapter 17 of Exodus, the Israelites find themselves in the wilderness without any water to drink. They begin to argue with Moses in fear that they, their children, and their livestock will all die of thirst. Moses brings this problem to God and then Moses, with faith in God's promise, strikes the rock at Massa and Meribah, and water begins to flow. We come to you, God, with the faith of Moses. Jesus, In the Gospel of John, your last words before your crucifixion and death were, I thirst. And after being given something to drink, you say, It is finished. Let us see today your face in those who thirst as we pray. In this litany, Our response will be, save your people, Lord. For those without clean drinking water, save your people, Lord. For those who walk for miles to find water, save your people, Lord. For those who are dying from thirst, for those who are sick from unclean water, For those who struggle to provide water for their children. For those who work to bring water to people in need. For those who thirst for truth. For those who thirst for justice. For those who thirst for mercy. For those who thirst for peace.
Let's ask God to work in us so that we might better live out this work of mercy. The response will be, God, grant us the grace to desire it. That our eyes may be opened to those suffering from thirst. God, grant us the grace to desire it. That our hearts break with love for our neighbors. God, grant us the grace to desire it. That our bodies may be called to action. That our souls not rest till we've done all we can to serve your people. That we would rather ourselves go thirsty before others do. That each time we take a drink, we remember those who go without. That each time we use water, we remember that you alone, God, satisfy. Let's take some time now to be silent with God. Invite the Holy Spirit to guide you. Let's close our prayer by lifting up those who are thirsty to God's loving mercy as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Keep those who thirst close in prayer. Challenge yourself to reach out to them and serve in some small way today. We look forward to continuing to pray with you. Let peace be with you.